I brought an ocean stone to share with you. Have you ever considered how it got this beautiful, graceful shape? Look at that, it's a work of art. It's from a million years of the waves doing just this. Isn't that what life does to all of us? Tosses us around and changes our shape? But we don't have a million years to figure this out. When I was hit by some big life waves, I discovered five questions that helped me to reclaim my energy and rediscover my enthusiasm for life. I'm here to share with you this simple process that begins with gratitude and it ends with hope. It's the essence of what we all need to take into this crazy world we're living in, find our footing, and move in the direction of our choice. Fifteen years ago, both of my parents began to fail at the same time. They died within six months of each other. I have five siblings, and on most days, there were not enough of us to do all that needed to be done between hospitalizations, surgeries, oncology, radiation, declining mental and physical health. It was a lot. And I still had a life at home, believe it or not. I had children who had their own struggles, school struggles, medical issues, and we had some behavioral challenges in our home. Each one of those things alone is a lot, but together they overwhelmed my family and it wore me down personally. And then one day I found myself in my kitchen saying, oh, I need to step into a state of grace. I'd never used that term before. I wasn't even sure what I meant by it. But that's what I found myself saying. And later on that day, I started, a I started asking the five, oh wait, so I saw five words first. And those words that I saw in the word grace were gratitude, release, accept, challenge, and embrace. And I was so curious about that. And later that day, I started asking the questions that naturally flow from those five words. Back then, it would have sounded like, wow, things are so tough today. What am I grateful for? Whoops, come on, grateful, let's go. What do I, what do I want to release in my life, what, to move forward? What do I need to let go of? What do I need to accept in my life? It's a tough one sometimes. What's my next challenge? How do I want to challenge myself to move forward? And what can I embrace as possible in my life? That's a great question. I started asking those questions throughout the day and I realized every time I asked them I felt better, more hopeful. I was able to navigate through challenges and find a place of possibility each time. I invited my husband in. And every now and then I'd call him at work and I'd say, hey, can you just listen really quickly while I run through these questions? He always said yes. He always listened. And then one night he came home and he said, come on, let's go do grace together. That was the summer we walked around the block every single night for the entire summer. And we asked and answered those five questions of each other. And we realized it was the first time all day that anyone had listened to us. And we realized it was the first time all day we got to talk about what really mattered most to us. Those questions and those walks changed my life. After the relief of, that, I, that we felt from that summer, I knew I was onto something. Yeah, I had a mission. My curiosity led me over the past decade to try and crack the grace code because those questions were a gift to me. Where did they come from? Where does grace come from? What is it? And how can we all get more of it? I do know that grace is a gift. It's an active communication by source or universe, or God, or your higher power. Whatever you embrace to understand your world. 
everyone here is eligible to receive grace if you just open your heart to the possibility that it could arrive. Grace has no race, no religion, and no gender. And now I'm adding a no age limit because I know children who are walking and talking the grace questions. Hmm. So, in 2000, oh, but remember this. Grace is not always graceful. Sometimes it's downright messy. 2012, my son was in, Af in Afghanistan. And <clears throat> with Facebook and Skype, you got to see him there every day. Those images were way too disturbing for me. I like the old days where you waited a month for a letter to come. That was my speed. And <clears throat> during that time, something really interesting happened. I read an article about the popularity of the, about, of the Appalachian Mountain Trail. And in the article, the question was asked, who's hiking the trail? And the answer was, it's a whole lot of vets walking off their war. Walking off their war. What a concept. Where do I go to walk off my war? I can't get to the California Pacific Trail or the Appalachian Mountain Trail. I needed a local solution. That's when I started thinking about putting the two concepts together of grace and the grace questions and walking off your war. And I started to imagine a trail where people could come to find their own answers. And that was when I created something that's come to be called the Grace Trail in my hometown. To begin, I just walked down to the beach, I picked up some big boulders, and I wrote the five words on each stone. So I had gratitude, release, accept, challenge, and embrace. And my intention at that time was to match the territory of those questions with the geography of the land. And what I meant by that was I wanted to take each of these rocks and put them in a special place that helped people to answer that specific question. And then I hung up a map and people found the trail. It's amazing. And so what I'd like to do is I'd like you to walk the trail with me now. But you don't have to get up. You just have to relax. As we start on the trail, we begin and we see the gratitude stone. And as you see that stone, you look over and you see this beautiful marsh. There could be ducks swimming. You see the harbor, islands, a big blue sky, billowing clouds, and you can smell the salt air. If you can't think of anything else in your life to be grateful for at that moment, you are going to feel the heartfelt energy of gratitude just being there. And I'm curious, what are you, cu what are you grateful for in your life? What a wonderful way to begin any process, immersed in the present moment, focusing on what's going right in your life. And now we walk on and we see the release stone, and we find ourselves on a rocky beach. I want you to picture yourself bending over, picking up an ocean stone, and thinking about what you want to release in your life, and then throwing it in the water. The physical act of throwing helps you to feel the energy of letting go. The quality of your life depends on your ability to know when and how to let go. Because letting go makes room for other things to enter your life. So what do you need or want to release in your life? And as we leave the beach, we enter a beautiful field. I call this the field of loving awareness. And I ask people to be silent as they go through the field, because this field is alive. In the spring, the, the grass is three feet high on each side of the path with wildflowers and frequently bunnies hopping down the path. You have birds nesting in this tall grass and flying in the sky, crickets chirping. 
Let the field inform you. As you ask the question, what is, what is calling out for acceptance in your life? True acceptance allows you to stop fighting battles you can't win. We all have those. <laughs> and it's not the same as being a victim or giving up. And now we walk out of the field. As we leave the field, we find ourselves on a gently sloping road, road that leads back to the harbor. And as you start walking downhill, you start to pick up your pace and it becomes sort of mar a march. And you feel invigorated. That's the energy we all need to take on new challenges. We need that energy. What's the challenge you'd like to take on in your life? The more conscious thought and purpose you bring to your commitments and challenges that you take on, the more efficient you're going to be at directing your life in the direction of your choice. And now we walk on and we get to the embrace stone. E, embrace the possibilities in your life. This is where you get to invite your imagination to wander along the trail with you. We spend so much of our time with our head down, doing this, doing that, getting that person there, taking care of everything. This is a relief of a question as you get to lift your head up, look down at the horizon, and ask yourself, what can I embrace as possible in my precious life? Let your imagination work with you. Let it go. What's possible? Just by asking that question, your brain becomes your ally, and it will subconsciously be working on your behalf to find resources and pathways to get you towards your preferred future. And now we're at the end of the trail. But actually, we've just begun. Because curiosity starts you on a discovery, a journey of discovery. And a good question starts you on an adventure. And this is the trail that leads back to the best of you. And the sweet part of the Grace Trail is you don't have to come to my hometown to walk it. You can walk the Grace Trail anywhere, anytime, with anyone, just by asking those five questions. You don't even have to walk. There are people journaling, people are using it in meetings, they're using it in their family. You can just talk it. So this has been my personal journey. Thousands have found a trail. Grateful for each of them. Right now, on the side of a mountain, in the White Mountains in New Hampshire, there are people creating a grace trail. There's a grace trail in the desert of California. There's a grace trail on a pier that leads out into the middle of Lake Huron with a grace trail. And there's a group of people in Connecticut who get together in a park and they walk the grace trail together. I encourage you to share it. I've created grace trails for tens of thousands of people, created and installed grace trails, encouraging people to get into simple conversations of resiliency, optimism, and hope. Oops. Just this month, I received an inquiry from Egypt. There's a woman there who wants to know how she can bring a grace trail to the Middle East. <laughs> can you imagine a grace trail in the Middle East? I mean, how cool is that? I can imagine that because grace trail is a universal language of the heart. It's a conversation we all need to be in more often. The world needs us in this conversation more often. I envision a day where corporations, hospitals, and schools have the courage to put grace trails on site so all of you can walk off your worries before they turn into wars. I dream of a day when your doctor says to you, 
walk two grace trails and call me in the morning. <laughs> this stone has an amazing message for all of us. When I look at it, I see beautiful colors and a shape that can only come from making it through some mighty storms. This stone has been a witness to Earth's amazing evolution, but it's also been an active partner in those changes. That's what I want for you. I want you to be more than a witness in your life. I want you to be an active partner creating the life that you would like to live. I hope that you can find the courage to go to the tough places to get you out of the stuck places. I want you to access the power of grace as your partner, moving forward, finding your footing in this crazy world. The world needs us to do that. Can you imagine the impact if all of us embraced the possibility that grace can enter your life more often? I'd like to invite all of you in to a challenge. I'd like you to walk, or invite you, to walk the Grace Trail one time a day for the next week. You can walk it, you can talk it, you can journal it, you can do it during your yoga class. Take it with you into your life one time a day for the next week. And then notice the difference in your life. And I want you to observe other people as you show up in your life differently. How many will do that challenge? Great, great. <clears throat> Just like you, this stone is a work in process. It's still changing. Grace Trail <clears throat> will meet you in your life wherever you are in your process of your life. And it will meet you there with curiosity, compassion, and the only thing that you need to bring is the courage. <laughs> I hope to see you all on the trail. Thank you. <laughs>